Okay. Okay, let's introduce ourselves, by the way. Ed Rue, I'm a six degree black belt in Taekwondo. I'm considered a senior master instructor because of the 30 years I've spent doing this. Uh, most people get themselves in trouble at some place where they're comfortable. That could be around their home, um, going to a mall or restaurant that they're familiar with. Anytime we go someplace which is less familiar or less comfortable, we tend to keep our, our, our radar on a little bit better because we're not sure exactly what's happening. So the places t people tend to get into trouble is some place that's more familiar with them because their guard is down slightly. Uh, put that hand across and grab. Okay. Okay. If we come up here, he's grabbed a cross body, like the same as Lock hey. right here. Yeah. He grabbed me instead. I've come up here and I'm going to wave at you. Right. With this hand. Okay. That's important. Then I come down here <laughs> and let you toss that way. That takes the pressure. He's rolling out, takes the pressure off the shoulder. It's true. And okay. I'm not about breaking anything today. Yeah. So okay. Same thing again. It's the wrist. Grabs and I come a little bit Ooh. differently. All right. Take him in that direction, which that is harder for him to roll out of. <laughs> okay, now grab what? with the same side, right straight across. Okay, just grab the wrist. Sure, grab the wrist. I can come up and do the similar action here, and I have two hands. Oh my god! Put the pressure on here now and oh. the wrist. Okay. Okay. If these come up higher, yep, I can just break oh. it off here. What I don't want to do is bet, hit it here where it bends naturally. That puts me at jeopardy. I want to go it. against the joint oh. and slightly above it if I can. If he comes, we grab a cross. Okay. We grab the same one. Uh, okay. And if we, what if we grab two? One. Yeah. Okay. That's what happens. Yeah, sir. Or if, as soon as you're touching me, grab. I surrender. I put my gotcha. hands up to surrender. Now I've got you. You can just beat the little out of me right about now. Okay, gotcha. Put your hand up like you're grabbing my hair. Okay. And you're gonna do it next. I put my hand right on uh -huh. the flat of my head. Okay. And I'm gonna step back the wrist. Okay. It takes a little, it's harder than it looks. It looks that way. Yeah. Also, if somebody grabs the same side. Okay. I can show them where the door is. It's that way. Okay. The wrist comes off. It's good. Ooh, that way. Yeah. Okay. A little bit easier. Okay. What else? What else? Uh, from behind. Okay. He grabs me like in a, in a grab around doing this? me. Just okay. grab around me. I don't care. If he locks on me, chances are I'm going up in the air. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to bring my arms up here. I'm going to let loose with oh. elbows <laughs> here. And I can also come to the groin here. I would prefer not, but if you're in that situation, that's yeah. what you do. And so that's over both arms. Okay. Now if he's over one and under one, his head is in deep trouble. As there's his oh. other ribs on the other side. All right. If he's under both of them, his head's in deeper trouble <laughs> either way. And my ears. Yeah. Whatever. Right. The head's going to come off. Okay. Yeah. Uh, those are once they got in close. Assuming he's a little bit further away and I see danger coming, I want to use my legs. Okay. Now, why do you want to use your legs? They're stronger and they're longer. I would want to use the leg at its longest distance here. Okay? Okay. Um, we did one more here. If, he's, if he happens to get in here and hug me tight from the front. Yeah, you already know what's coming. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting where our bodies are made. All we have to do is, if I can do this to me, I can do the same thing. Right. Oh, Lord. Yes. Didn't think, it, I thought that was going to be a knee. Lemonade. No. Oh. Same here, if my hands are trapped behind me here, the hand comes here and just, anything that's there is okay. gone. All right, all right, okay. okay. Show me the nose thing again. I okay. kinda, we didn't do yeah. that one. Okay, so let's just stand all there. All that happened is he was approaching me and I just came up here. Ugh. And I'm really aiming for, with this palm into this upper lip here and coming in here to take the head back or the chin. With his height, he's similar height to me, coming under the chin's a little bit harder for me. I will say the first time he got me, uh, we weren't necessarily rolling on it, and he hit me got pretty hard in the nose, and I was, and he also it was, yelled. It was stopping, yeah. It, <laughs> I was surprised. That's it. Yeah, because okay. you didn't know it was coming. No. The other one is taking the hand oh. here towards this this little hole that's in here is what you're aiming at, which is the end of your fingers as hard as you can. Okay, and you're trying to break that. Also, you got here, like you're chopping a tree, or double ones here. Watch. Ugh. Did you feel that just? Before? I did. Okay. Okay. It doesn't take a whole lot. So no. You can imagine because here, what would happen? Okay. Bad. What is the first thing that you would do? Like recommend to a person if they're in? I mean, besides hitting and punching and just going for it, Leave. what's the first thing? If I feel a threat coming at me or something that doesn't feel right about the where I am, maybe I've just pulled up uh, to a movie and I get out and something doesn't feel right, I'm going to get in my car and leave. Always trust your gut instincts. Okay. If you don't think it should be that way or something's wrong, you're right. Okay. Now, next question I have, uh, I have a lot of girlfriends that are a lot smaller, a lot shorter than I am. Any word for them? I'm, I'm a pretty small guy myself. Yeah, yeah we're the same. We're oh, big yeah. guys. Um, the throat, 
the eyes, the groin are real good shots. If someone it comes and puts your arm around me like, like you're gonna give a hug, okay? I've got an elbow here, I've got an elbow here, I've got this coming oh. up here, okay? I've got one coming here, which if you're shorter, it's real hard to come sweep it this way. Yeah. It's really easy. Put your arm like you're giving, like, like I'm a girl and you're hugging. Come up here and pressure here, or on the wrist here. Okay, and if I walk away from oh. it, you go down that way. Gotcha. Okay. But the, the ideal thing is to stay further away. We all have a distance that is our comfort zone. Anyone that enters that, right now we're in each other's comfort zone because we can touch each other, basically. Yeah. Some people, I can work by talking to you like this, and you feel real uncomfortable, but that person feels fine there. We call that a close talker. Yeah, he ha and he, he doesn't notice there's anything wrong with it. That's because his distance is, is, is a much closer comfort sure. zone. Most of us don't like that. If they're within your comfort zone, it's usually the touch zone. And if they come in any closer, you start feeling less comfortable yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we talked earlier about, about our length of our legs is longer, so my comfort zone, you might think I'm out of your comfort zone and you're, you're actually in mine because I can touch you from here and you don't realize it. Right. So that's an advantage. That's the advantage of the legs. You want to stop the attacker at as far away as you can get him okay. or her. If not, if he actually gets a hold of us somehow and that le le clamps on, what about two, hands? two hands is fine. I still need to cause him pain now. I think of these like handcuffs. What's the handcuffs on? I have to somehow create pain to him. That was pain. That was. Okay. It can also be pain right down here and I'm okay. hitting at a specific spot. I'm not just hitting the arm. There are some pressure points here, and there's another one there that he can feel, and they're, they're joint places. Yeah. And I can also take it off real easy. If someone grabs my hand with both of them, most <sighs> people can do that. It hurts. And he had no idea it was coming. <laughs> His fingers hurt. Yeah. Once I hit that, I can take my hand away, because he's going, out and the hand comes off. I'm thinking off. of other things while yeah, I... a distraction or whatever. Yeah. So. See how much tape, are they still rolling? Sell so your thing, where, where do you work? What do you, what do you I do? teach taekwondo for the City of Norman Parks and Recreation Department, and we teach anywhere from four and five year olds up through people a lot older than I am, and I'll be 60 in December. He beat me up. Not hard. Thanks. Thank you very much. Very good. That was fun. Yeah. It's, that's good. It's a quickie. I like doing this stuff.